Hey everyone guys, the one checking out. I met you that Jesus, peace be unto him, was a Muslim. His religion was Islam. Guys, I don't think Jesus preached a religion, but let's say this guys. Question is it? Excuse me, can you go back in the queue please? Assalamu alaikum. I, I'm a Muslim. Uh, we Muslim call Hazrat Isa Islam, and here's a lot of Christian, they call Jesus Christ. I think it's important for me to request you that could you let the audience know here, including Christian and Muslim, what was the religion of Jesus Christ and what did he taught? Did he taught Islam or was he was Muslim or non-Muslim? Thank you. Thank you. The question was, of course, you heard, what was the religion of Jesus? The religion of Jesus was Islam. The religion of Moses was Islam. The religion of all true prophets of God is Islam. Because with Allah, there is only one religion. He says, in dina in the Allah islam Most certainly the religion acceptable in the sight of Allah is Islam. If you want a religion other than Islam, so Allah will not accept it from you. From you. And you will be of the losers. Anything else other than Islam? So I said, now the religion of Moses was Islam. The religion of Jesus was Islam. The religion of speech by Muhammad was Islam. It was nothing but Islam. And the proof of that is, you ask the Jew. Start with, ask the Jew. In our line relationship, we are very closely related to the religion of Moses, Jesus and Muhammad. Three are related, very close. If Moses was alive with us, and if you asked him, Oh Moses, what is your religion? I do not expect him to say Judaism. Because this word Judaism is not in his Torah, is not in his Talmud, is not in his Mithna, is, is nowhere to be found in Jewish literature. The word Judaism is not to be found. You see, it's a concocted word, concocted word. But if Moses was alive and if you asked him, what is your religion? He would say that my religion is a religion of total submission to God's will. A lengthy definition. But one word for that in the Arabic language is Islam. Islam means a religion of total submission to God's will. If Jesus was alive with us today, or in the second coming, if we have a chance to meet him, and if we ask him, so, oh Jesus, what is your religion? We do not expect him to say Christianity. Because if he says Christianity, we can ask him, what church you belong to, sir? Are you a Roman Catholic or an Anglican or a Presbyterian or a Lutheran or a Jehovah's Witness? <laughs> silly, silly you would say. It's a silly thing to ask Jesus. I expect him to say that my religion is a religion of total submission to God's will. Lengthy definition. One word for that in the Arabic language is Islam. This is what he came to teach. But if the people, his followers, they took his religion off the rails. Actually, Paul. They are all following Paul. They are not following Jesus. If they follow Jesus, they will be Muslims. See, because Jesus... Guys, I don't know, but... I know Christians have different denominations, but I feel Islam still have different like i know that they're, they're different I, I know islam is a religion but you guys have a different group that believe in closely the same thing but you guys have different groups that believe in different things so him saying christianity have i don't know but this is i don't like when so is coming for me I i don't like it i like defending myself so i have to listen to this open-mindedly Minus defending myself, so they just get back. This was teaching them nothing but Islam. The Father in heaven, worship him. They start worshiping Jesus. See, this is not his teaching. As the Quran tells us, testifies on the day of judgment, Allah will ask him, Oh Jesus, did you tell your people to worship you and your mother besides Allah? They said, Oh my, Tala, oh my Lord, you know I never did any such thing. As long as I was with them, I was a watcher over them to see that they never did any such blasphemy. But after you took me up, you know what they did. Guys, this is something I personally hate. Like, I hate when I see Christians worshipping Jesus and Mary. Like, it sounds strange, like... Okay, so people say Jesus and God is one. 
Okay, so if somebody is worship, like it does not, it does not make sense. Like to be honest, because Jesus said, "No one can get to God except through me." We like we pray in His name to God. Like we pray to God directly, and this is most Christians that do this are Christians that haven't make research. Like if you keep on making research, guys, I feel we are we are going to go to the right path. Like, even if we don't end up changing religions, but we are going to know what we are supposed to do. Even if we don't change religion, but we know what we are supposed to do. And this is for Christians out there, guys. Like, we need to read. You need to read the Bible. Forget. Okay, I won't say forget church, but like, you need to know the Bible for yourself. Like, you need to know what you are practicing. You don't have to just practice something. Like, because you feel you have been a Christian from birth, like 20, 30 years, and you feel you know that that is it. Pride comes in and it wash your brain away because you just kind of start following something blindly, then you end up teaching it to people, teaching it to your children, and you keep on passing it on. And I feel we need to end it. Like that's why some people, some Christians today, that the children leave left home and like they are done with the religion. Like I feel they were not taught. I don't think they were not taught, but I feel everyone has to have this personal desire. Like the people Christians, I will use myself, like my people as an example. I won't say anything about Muslim because I don't know much. So I feel some Christians like leave home and they just forget about the religion. Like they forget about the commandment. Some Christians, minority, I won't say majority, because I've seen a lot of, I've seen Christians that are devoted, like, I can use myself as an example, but, like, you don't worship where you don't worship Jesus, you should be worshipping God, he's one, yes, let's get back into this, we Christians believe God is one too, so, let's get back. So, in to azibhum fainnuhum ibaduka, so if you punish them, they are your servants. But if you forgive them, you are exalted in might, you are wise, in your wisdom, you can do what you please. But the religion of Jesus was Islam and he was a Muslim. In the Garden of Gethsemane, you read in the Bible that he went there and he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed to God. He made the sujood and prayed to God, said, Oh my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass away from me, but not as I will, but as thou wilt. One word for that, not as I will, but as thou wilt, is a Muslim. I have submitted my will to the will of Allah. Jesus was a Muslim and his religion was Islam. We say okay, this last part I'm interested in it. Please pardon me, still with me. Guys, I will tell you that Christians fall on the face to pray. I personally do it. Even before I started reacting to Muslim videos. Like even before I started reacting, like we do it. Like we do it a lot. We kneel, we bow down, we put our head on the floor, we lie down, like we pray like that. You know, it's not mostly common, like I won't say it's not common in the sense that like you don't see Christians doing it. He said that maybe we do it in the church or we do it at home. There's one thing I, I read in the Bible. It says that you're supposed to pray in closed doors. You're not supposed to be hypocrites that allows people to see you're praying to your father. You're supposed to pray in closed doors. Like you, your father knows your heart. And you're supposed to pour out your will to him. Like, and we Christians, we submit our will to God. Why am I supporting Christians? Okay, I'm I'm just saying it based on my perspective. Like, know my religion, religion, so I'm knowing yes. But we Christians submit our will to God. And yes, God is almighty. God is one. I will say that with my full trust. We Christians believe God is one. I feel the Trinity is kind of a misconception, but... We Christians believe there's only one God. Yeah. I come to the end of the video, guys. And I can tell you that... You know, before, when I was listening to this kind of thing, I found it offensive. But now, as... I won't say I'm accepting the religion gradually, but... 
It's not offensive. It's not offensive. I'm just taking it as it is. I feel maturity is coming in the... Maybe I'm understanding religion better. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.